Honorable William Porter, CMG, by Stafford Crookshanks, read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Honorable William Porter, CMG, an elegy. The mighty falls, time's restless wing has sped the day for him, beloved as Camelot's blameless king, to pass away, and briny tears bedew the date in which that life so marvellously great our friend grand porter's self succumbs at last to fate he died at home his labour ceased where it began while gathering honours with his years increased colossal man to africa that long abode his work and love discharged the debt he owed long toil of years to him life's grandest episode the libyan clime in youth became his destined soil where time and fate the laurels of his fame can never despoil a grateful continent shall pour her griefs for him whose face we see no more and mourn as great a man as ever touched her shore mourn soil of grief your champion bold whose work is done mourn land of ham as egypt did of old for jacob's son the mighty falls the chieftain high whose worth not val nor treasury could buy had reached his native land and reached it but to die approach his grave o sight sublime last scene of all let kindred spirits of the olden time attend his pall first that athenian who alone in days of tyranny not since unknown with voice of thunder moved the macedonian throne let aristides too be there the just one still tis not in death on land or sea or air such minds to kill let mighty shades press to the van from Catalin's arena to the man who raised a righteous wail for injured hindustan let crowding myriads view in tears the hero's grave earth yields to earth a mortal disappears no love can save lost but to sight in fame alive long shall his name our blinding tears survive and numbers from his dust true virtue long derive repose great one in lasting rest dear friends among what rank what tribe what country love thee best remains unsung pride of the senate and the bar tis ours alas to wail thy loss afar who neath the southern cross long hailed thee as a star thou wert our statesman to apply wise counsels best no selfish partisan to raise a cry for east or west prepared for right to stand or fall deaf to the foeman's threat or bigot's call twas thine to live and die the sire and friend of all who shall succeed thee in our love who fill thy chair shall we ignoring succour from above yield to despair no never while in hour of need a champion stands as he who runs may read a sprig well worthy power yea porter to succeed stafford crookshanks end of poem this recording is in the public domain